Hello and welcome back everybody. Today on Linux Scoop we will show you step by step how to install Drupal with Nginx on a Debian 10 VPS. Drupal is one of the most popular open source CMS platforms worldwide. It is written in PHP and can be used to build different types of websites ranging from small personal blogs to large corporate, political, and government sites. Make sure that you have met the following prerequisites before continuing with this tutorial. You have a Debian 10 VPS with root access or a user with pseudo privileges. You have a fully registered domain name that is set up and pointing to your VPS IP address. For example, in this video tutorial, we will use domain linuxscoop.cc. Step 1. Deploy Debian 10 VPS. Thanks to UpCloud for sponsoring this video. UpCloud is an extremely fast cloud hosting service, very affordable, easy to get started with and provides a lot of value in their different solutions. Also, great for any business that is small or large and as someone who's really trying to start doing some website stuff. Get $50 in credit on your new account by signing up with promo code LINUXSCOOP or use the link in the description. To deploy Debian 10 in UpCloud simple and easy, log into your account. Click the server. Click Deploy Server. Choose the server location. Select Plan. In this tutorial, we will be using the plan $10 per month. On the operating system, select Debian 10. Then click Deploy button. Now set the reverse DNS name on each of your public IP address at your UpCloud control panel under the Network tab in your server settings. On column, reverse DNS name change with your domain name. Step 2. Initial Server Setup Debian 10 Server In this step, we will create a new user account that will add to sudo group and configuring SSH. Now, from your terminal login to Debian 10 Server. After you have logged in, run the following command to make sure that all installed packages on the Debian 10 server are updated to their latest available versions. Create a new user account. We will give the name Debian. Now, run this command to add the new user to the sudo group. Now that we have our new account, we can secure our server a little bit by modifying its SSH daemon configuration to disallow remote SSH access to the root account. Begin by opening the configuration file with Nanotext Editor. Find the following sections, add and change the information where applicable. When you are finished making your changes, save and close by hitting Ctrl O X. Restart the SSH service. Log out from the root session. You can type exit or hit the button Ctrl D. Then log in again using user with pseudo privileges. Keep stay login on this session. We will continue to install Nginx, PHP, and MariaDB. Step 3. 
install NGINX, PHP, and MariaDB. Drupal requires a web server on which it will serve its content. It is written in PHP and uses a MySQL, MariaDB database to store its information. We can install NGINX, MariaDB, PHP, and other PHP modules by running the following command. Once all the packages are installed, you will need to make some changes in php.ini file and tweak some settings. We will be using sed command for fast replacing php.ini file. Then restart PHP FPM service to apply the configuration changes. Step 4. Configure Nginx for Drupal. In this step, we will configure Nginx site configuration file for Drupal. This file will control how users access Drupal content. Run these commands to create a new configuration file called linuxscoop.cc. We will copy our configuration to this file. All configuration and command in this tutorial can be downloaded from this video description. If you are done, save and close the file. It's recommended to check Nginx syntax errors by typing this command. Next. You should enable the server block by creating a symbolic link to the site's enabled directory. Finally, restart the Nginx and PHP FPM services to apply the configuration changes. Step 5. Configure a Drupal database. Run the commands that to secure the database server with a root password, if you were not prompted to do so during the installation. Now, log in to MariaDB as root. We will create a database called DB Drupal. Then, create MariaDB new user account called DeepUser. Set a password and grant access to the database we created. Remember to choose a strong password for your database user. Flush the database so changes can reflect in MariaDB. Finally, exit from MariaDB shell. Step 6. Install and configure. Let's encrypt SSL certificate. In this step, we will be installing the Let's Encrypt SSL certificates. Let's Encrypt is a free, automated, and open certificate authority developed by the Internet Security Research Group, ISRG, that provides free SSL certificates. We need to install the CertBot package for Nginx called Python 3 CertBot Nginx package. Now, install dependencies for Python 3 CertBot Nginx package. Install the Python 3 CertBot Nginx package. Fetch and deploy Let's Encrypt SSL certificate on your domain with these commands. Step 7. Setting up firewall. In this step, 
we will install UFW package and create rule to allow SSH, HTTP and HTTPS connection. Install UFW. Enable UFW service. Allows SSH connection on port 22500 using the TCP protocol. Allows HTTP connection on port 80. Allows HTTPS connection on port 443. Check the status of your rules. Step 8. Download and install Drupal. In this step, we will need to download the latest version of the Drupal source from its official website. Run these commands to download the latest release of Drupal. Once the download is completed, extract the downloaded file. Copy all the Drupal files to VAR WWW Linux Scoop directory. Change the ownership all of WordPress files to the WWW data user and group. Step 9. Complete Drupal Setup Now, open your web browser and visit the URL HTTPS Your Domain. You will be redirected to the Drupal installation page. The first part will be to choose the language for your website. Click the Save and Continue button to proceed. Then you will have to select between three different installation profiles. Choose one depending on your site building skills. In the next step, you will see all of the requirements for the application and Drupal will have to verify them before you can continue. Provide your database name, database username, and database password that we have created in Step 5. Finally, click on the Save and Continue button to proceed. Enter your site name, site email address, username for administrator, password, your email address, and select your country. Click on Save and Continue. Congratulations, you have successfully installed Drupal 8. Go to Configuration. As we can see, we have one or more problems. Click Status Report. We need to add Trusted Host Pattern to File Settings.php. Open File Setting.php. Then add line configuration of Trusted Host Pattern to Settings.php. If you are done, click Save and Exit. Then go back to the configuration page in Drupal dashboard and then refresh. We have no error again. Back to the terminal. Enter to Document Root Directory. Change permission of all directory in var www.linuxscoop to 755 and change permission of all file in var www.linuxscoop to 644. 
That's it. Step-by-step, -step, how to install Drupal with Nginx on Debian 10 VPS. Now Drupal is ready to use. You can now start by installing new themes and modules as per your needs. You can learn more about Drupal by visiting the Drupal documentation. If you have any questions, comment below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.